On episode 411 of the 40 Plus Fitness Podcast, I discuss 10 of my favorite health and fitness books. You can find the full show notes for this episode at 40plusfitnesspodcast.com forward slash 411. Have you decided you're ready to make a change? To reclaim your health and fitness, the 40 Plus Fitness Podcast is here for you. I'm your host, Alan Meisner. I'm an NSAM certified personal trainer with a specialization in corrective exercise and fitness nutrition. Let me be your coach as you find your way on your health and fitness journey. All right, let's go. Hello and welcome to episode 411. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, Today, I'm going to give you the 411 on my favorite health and fitness books. See what I did there? Uh, Anyway. Uh, you know, I've interviewed, I was, I was checking the stats, I've interviewed 243 health and fitness experts, and most of them have written a book. So uh, I've read quite a few health and fitness books over the last four years that we've been doing this podcast. Uh, it's kind of crazy. It was December 6th uh, in 2015 that we first launched this podcast. And so here we are with episode 411. Um, so a lot has gone on, and I've met a lot of authors, and I've read a lot of books. Uh, some of them are wonderful. Some of them, not so wonderful. Uh, But I can always glean something valuable out of each and every book that I read. But some really set themselves apart by just being so, so good uh, that I want to read them over and over again. So here are my favorite books uh, that I have kind of compiled over the course of the last four years. Uh, Number 10 on the list um, is by Jonathan Baylor, and I interviewed him on episode 363. Now, I'm not going to put all the links in there in this podcast, but basically for each of these episodes, if you go to 40plusfitnesspodcast.com forward slash and then that number, that's going to take you to that episode uh, through the links on the site. So uh, this one was Jonathan Baylor, episode 363, and in that we talked about his book, Set Point. Uh, It's a very important book because I think a lot of people get caught into plateaus and they don't understand how to break them. Well, Jonathan Baylor gives us some ideas on exactly what our body needs to break through those set points. So if you're finding yourself in a weight loss plateau, uh, this is a really good book for you to change some things up and get your body uh, moving in the right direction, get your body weight moving in the right direction, if that's your goal. Uh, But set weight point is a very important concept within uh, the physiology of our body. So it's really important to understand if you're trying to accomplish a health or fitness goal. All right, number nine on my list is by Michael Matthews, episode 382. Now, Michael Matthews has written the book Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. Uh, This was the third edition we were interviewing. He also has a ladies' version, so uh, it's leaner, slimmer, stronger, something like that. But there's a woman's version of this book as well as a men's version of the book. This guy does his research. If you're looking to get bigger, to get stronger, uh, this guy has the right ideas. He's really done some deep, deep, deep diving into this, a lot of research, and he keeps updating what he knows with what the new science is saying. That's why he does new editions of his books. He he doesn't just issue more books. He actually takes the book and rewrites it for the new science that we're getting. So this is the top of the top for uh, education for weightlifting to get stronger, to get bigger, and to get leaner. And again, that was episode 382. Now on episode 359, uh, for number eight, we met Dr. Pat Luce. Now, Dr. Pat Luce won the Author Academy Award in 2018, and I was lucky enough to meet him there. His book is called The Seven Systems Plan, and basically, this is talking about the holistic health of our bodies, that we can't just address one problem, one symptom, and expect overall good health. Um, So he looks at the seven different systems within our body, and if we optimize each and every one of those systems, our body starts to equalize to a healthy state. Uh, People lose weight. Uh, Some of his clients at his clinic have lost a ton of weight. Uh, He does offer some online programs as well, but the book is is awesome, uh, and it really helps you understand why you can't just go from one dimension to try to solve the body's problem because we're much more complex than that. And the seven systems plan really is a good holistic whole view uh, of how the human body works and what you can do to optimize your health and your fitness. Number seven was Dr. Mark Bubbs, and that was episode 385, and his book was Peak. 
Uh, now, he wrote most of this uh, working with athletes, but I can tell you as I went through the book, I saw this as uh, how we can reach peak performance in the things that we want to do. If that's running a 5K, if that's wanting to hike a mountain, if that's wanting to play better tennis, or just being a better grandparent uh, so you can keep up with your grandkids at the zoo. Uh, peak performance is what we want, uh, even if it isn't at a elite athletic level, but you can learn so much from him through his book Peak because he's been studying performance in a way that really is applicable to everybody. So I encourage you to check that out. Number seven is Peak by Dr. Mark Bubbs. Okay, number six is by Dr. Ben Lynch. 327 is that episode number. Uh, and his book is Dirty Genes. So this gets down into the science of why we get unhealthy, why we have chronic diseases, and how our genes are part of that, the epigenetics of what goes on inside our body that defines who we are and the diseases and things that we're potentially going to develop. The cool thing is, while there is a written code in your body, you can change that code if you do the right things. And his book, Dirty Genes, is going to help you clean up your genes so you can live a healthier, happier, and fitter life. Okay, episode number five was by uh, was with Lynn Lindbergh, and she her episode was three seven four, and her book was Couch to Active. So she works with folks that are really not doing any exercise whatsoever, you know, the, the consummate couch potato, if you will, and she helps them slowly integrate into being a more active individual. Uh, it's amazing what a little bit more activity each day can do for your overall health and fitness. And so just getting a little bit more active with Lynn's approach is a great way to, to look at this. So I encourage you to check that out, Couch to Active, episode 374. Now, number four on my list is Dr. Jason Fung, episode 77. So I'm going way back in the way back machine of, of podcast interviews. In fact, this was when I first really got deep into podcast interviews. I'd done a few before that, uh, but this was one of the, the biggest. And The Obesity Code is the name of the book, and it is, it is brilliant. If you want to understand why our body holds on to fat and how we can answer to that, uh, The Obesity Code is going to help you see that. Uh, a little, uh, uh, I guess I'll break the news to you. It's it's about the insulin, okay? So <laughs> go in there and check out the obesity code. Uh, listen to Dr. Jason Fung. He's he's direct. Uh, he's fun. Uh, I really enjoyed the few times I've interviewed him. I've had him on the show a couple times, and I've had his partner, uh, Megan Ramos, on as well to talk about the diabetes code. So uh, Jason Fung's a good one to check out. Episode 77 is about the obesity code. Again, one of the core books that's kind of, I shaped the way I look at health and fitness. If you don't have your insulin under control, you don't have your health. You just don't. Uh, it is the leading cause of what's going to cause you the problems in your body. So you've got to get insulin under control. Uh, and the obesity code is a good tool to kind of get you started on that. Okay. Number three is uh, by Dr. Will Cole. It's episode 413. Now, we're doing episode 411 right now. So, obviously, episode 413 has not come out yet, uh, but it's coming out in a couple weeks. And his book that we're going to be talking about is called The Inflammation Spectrum. It is a brilliant book. So, in two weeks, set an alarm on your clock, whatever you got to do. Don't miss that episode. Uh, if you're looking for something by Dr. Cole, uh, between now and then, we did the Ketotarian book uh, a, a few episodes back, several episodes back. Uh, you can just do a search on the website for Ketotarian um, on the on the podcast, and uh, you find that episode if you're looking for something from him to kind of get an idea. Uh, he was looking at a predominantly plant-based ketogenic diet. Uh, and it's a really interesting look at things because I think everybody thinks there's just this straight line continuum about how you're going to eat and what you're going to eat. And it's not that simple. Uh, you can be a vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian ketogenic eater uh, if you choose the right foods. And he helps you do that there. Um, in the inflammation spectrum, he, he talks in depth about what are the things that cause inflammation in our body and what are the eating habits and things that we can take on, the things we can put into our, our diet that will help us uh, you know, do those things. And then uh, number two is smart fat. 
uh, was the book by Dr. Johnny Bowden. It's episode 338. Uh, Smart Fat was actually, the funny thing was, uh, of all the books on here, I, obviously doing the podcast, uh, I work with their publicist to get a copy of the book so I can review it before the interview. I do read each of these books. Smart Fat was one I actually bought myself before I did the interview with Dr. Bowden. Um, I was had done and read that book, and then there was another book out by Dr. Bowden. And so I, I'm like, I, I wanted to get him on the show, but I so enjoyed his his book, Smart Fat, uh, from before I started the podcast that I'm like, I got to talk to him about that book too. Uh, so I did get him on to talk about Smart Fat. And, and I think, you know, it, it's, it was kind of one of the first times that we were realizing that there are good fats, bad fats. There are uh, good carbs, bad carbs. There's even now, I believe, if you think about it, there's they're, they're coming to this conclusion that there's good proteins and bad proteins. Actually, uh, Dr. Cole and I talk about that a little bit on episode 14, 13 is coming up. But, um, it, you know, food is not just as simple as saying, don't eat this, don't eat that. I mean, it, you can do elimination diets and understand food, uh, but there's a lot of complexities to these things. And Smart Fat is kind of one of those good books where you can kind of get that idea around the fact that all food is not created equal and there's a lot of things behind why certain foods are pushed on us like sugar and certain you know vegetable um, oils and things like that they're pushed on us for money Um, so dr bowden kind of breaks through some of that and helps you understand that fat is not the enemy Um, even though we've been told that for decades fat is not the enemy Uh, you just have to be smart about the fat that you're eating And so I encourage you to check that out, Dr. Johnny Bowden, and that's going to be episode 338, okay? And then my number one favorite, uh, and if you've listened to the podcast at all, uh, you'll know that he was the winner of the Author Academy Award this year. Um, Dr. David Friedman uh, met him in Columbus for the award ceremony, um, and I did not win, but I, I did make finalist, which I was very happy about. His episode's 311, and he is just one of the coolest guys out there in this space. He's interviewed thousands of people. You know, I, I feel like I've done a lot uh, with my uh, career as a podcaster, but he has really <laughs> shined. He does a lot of great interviews. He really knows his stuff. And uh, in his book, Food Sanity, he breaks through kind of all the problems that there are with food, and he gives us some pretty simple tools. And in fact, I liked his approach so much uh, that I even included part of it, his dig method, in uh, my book, uh, The Wellness Roadmap. Uh, It was just so good. I didn't want to recreate the wheel. And Dr. Friedman was um, courteous enough, nice enough, uh, generous enough to let me share that with you there. So uh, go check out Food Sanity. It's a great book. It's an award-winning book. It's a bestseller uh, and well-deserved because David David did a great job with that book. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to reading the, the stuff that he's got coming out soon. Uh, but check out Food Sanity. Episode 311 is that episode. And then I always have to throw in a bonus, um, and and I'm going to throw in cookbooks because I've had Maria Emmerich on the show a few times. I had her on the show with her husband and with just a basic keto book, uh, but her cookbooks are the best, by far keto cookbooks uh, on the market. My favorite of hers, I'm going to mention, was episode 256. We talked about keto comfort foods, and there's a there's some recipes in there that I I just love. I mean they're they're just they're just wonderful. Her restaurant uh, foods book, keto book, is also great. Uh, they just sent me her stir fry book. I mean, air fry book. So I might have to buy an air fryer. And I actually have an interview scheduled with because uh, I think uh, her husband uh, Craig co-wrote the next cookbook that's coming out, um, and that's going to be carnivore keto. Um, so I'm very interested in talking to Craig and and maybe Marie. I'm not sure if she's going to be on that call. Uh, but that'll be coming up in early January. So look for that in about a month's time. Um, I'll have another episode with the Emmerichs or, or, or Anne Emmerich, and we'll talk about their new cookbook, book, Carnivore, which is kind of an up-and-coming uh, thing uh, that I want to learn a little bit more about. So that's the top 10 plus the bonus. So I'll go back through there. Uh, Breaking Your Body Weight Set Point by Jonathan Baylor is 363. Bigger, Leaner, Stronger by Mike Michael Matthews, 382. The Seven Systems Plan by Dr. Pat Luce, 359. Peak by Dr. Mark Bubbs, 385. Dirty Jeans by Dr. Ben Lynch, episode 327. Couch to Active by Lynn Lindbergh, 374. The Obesity Code by Dr. Jason Fong, episode 77. 
The Inflammation Spectrum, coming up in a couple of weeks by Dr. Will Cole, is episode 413. Smart Fat by Johnny, Dr. Johnny Bowden is episode 338. And number one, Food Sanity by Dr. David Friedman, episode 311. And again, I couldn't do this without the cookbooks. Uh, I love Maria's cookbooks. Uh, and I guess now Maria and Craig are co-writing co- cookbooks. But Keto Comfort Foods, episode 256, uh, that's my favorite of her cookbooks. Uh, if I had to pick one, that's the one I'd go with, or the restaurant's food. They're both actually really, really good. Uh, so check that out. Check those episodes out. Uh, if you got some downtime over the course of the next uh, couple weeks, these are probably some really good books for you to dive into. I know that Dr. Friedman's book, I believe, is, is available on audiobook, and I, I think the Inflammation Spectrum is available on audiobook. Some of the others probably are as well. So a good opportunity for you to to buy a book, uh, get an audiobook. If you're not a part of Audible, if you'll go to the show notes at episode 411. Um, so it's uh, 40plusfitnesspodcast.com forward slash 411. I'm going to put a link there that will connect you to Audible, and you can join Audible and get your first book free. Now, I'd love if that was the Wellness Roadmap, uh, but I, I understand if, if you already read it or you're not interested. But go to Audible, and if you do that, the show gets a little bit of a boost for bringing you to Audible uh, if you stick around. So check it out. I love audiobooks. I, I listen to audiobooks all the time. Uh, that's my favorite way to consume a book, uh, particularly when the author is reading the book, which I did for the Wellness Roadmap and uh Dr. Friedman did for Food Sanity, and Dr. Cole did for Inflammation Spectrum. So again, uh, great audiobooks, great books. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. And again, if you want to help support the show, just go to 40plusfitnesspodcast.com forward slash 411. Click on that Audible link towards the bottom in the notes where I'm talking about this because the full, no shows, full show notes will be there. And that'll let you sign up for Audible, uh, give the show a little bit of a boost, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for sticking around so far. I hope you found these 10, but with the bonus 11 uh, books to be very, very enjoyable and that they teach you a lot about health and fitness. I know uh, I really enjoyed talking to each and every one of these authors, and these are, of course, my favorite books, and I'm sure you're going to get some great value uh, if you didn't catch them the first time. So go back and check out those episodes, uh, and of course, pick up the books because there's a lot of information we couldn't cover in a podcast that you're going to get from each and every one of those books, and they're all brilliant. So uh, strongly encourage you to check those out over the holidays season. So we're getting ready to launch our January challenges. And I'm going to change things up a little bit uh, for this next year, for 2020. Um, I want to focus on some weekly challenges so we can get some quick hits uh, with mindset, with fitness, with food. Uh, So over the course of the 52 weeks of 2020, we're going to do little mini one week challenges over on the Facebook group. So you can go to 40 plus fitness podcast.com forward slash group. Um, and that's where I'll be posting each Monday, uh, with the challenge of the week. And, uh, we'll go through the entire week kind of discussing that topic, addressing each of those topics. Um, and I hope you some, get something really, really valuable from that, but you've got to be a part of the group to get a part of it. So go to 40 plus fitness podcast.com forward slash group. And if you want to do the monthly challenges, the 28 day challenges, There's an easy way for you to do that, but you're going to have to become a supporter of the show. You're going to have to become a patron to do that. So I'm going to limit my 28-day challenges to patrons of the show. You can go to 40plusfitnesspodcast.com forward slash January, uh, and that'll take you to the Patreon page. Uh, There, you can just go ahead and and, uh, pledge even a dollar, and that's going to be enough to get you on the list to be a part of each of the challenges. And I'm actually going to send out a poll to the patrons so they can choose the challenges that we do. So not only do you get to participate in the challenge at being a patron, you actually get to choose which challenges uh, we're doing. So uh, I'm going to start that in January and see how that goes. So go over to 40plusfitnesspodcast.com forward slash January to get in on on Patreon and get on, on our challenges. Thank you. Next time on the 40 Plus Fitness Podcast, we meet Alejandro Unger and discuss his book, Clean 7. Until then, have a happy and healthy week.